Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I'm jumping straight into today's nail prep using this Jello Jello peel off base coat. You can use any base coat of your choice. I'm just doing this because I do like this product and I find that after using the droplets it does come off really easy. So I'm going to be applying a layer on my nails and I'll be curing this in the lamp for 30 seconds. So for today's nail set, I will be using these extra long stiletto nail tips today and I'll be using regular base coat to adhere them with a gel X lamp. I just use this because using regular nail glue doesn't adhere to a smooth surface since the base gel is there. So I do use this which makes it a lot easier for me. Now I'll be taking a sandy band and I'm just going to be blending where the nail tip kind of meets at my nail. I don't want them to stick out too much and I also am not going to blend the entire nail. I don't really see a point. These nails are extremely long and I'm not really going to be wearing them. So I'm only blending where the nail tip sticks out. I am going to go in with my nail file just to kind of shape these a little bit more. I kind of want them a little more sharper and to make them look a lot more pointy. Next, I'm going to take base coat and apply this on the nail. I'm honestly not going to apply this on the entire nail. I'm only going to place where the poly gel will meet. These nails are extremely long and again, I'm only doing this for content. I don't see a need in applying base coat on this entire nail. For today's poly gel, I will be using Le Corel by McCart. I do love this pink poly gel and I'll also be using alcohol as my slip solution. Now I'm going to begin application. I'm going to do a full 1B today for today's application because we're doing stiletto nails and I feel like for this nail shape, I don't think the two bead method is necessary. This is just my personal opinion. So I'm going to try to make sure that I can blend this all the way through with just one bead. I'm making sure that I'm patting the poly gel in place so that I can shape it the way that I need to. And I really did have to take my time doing it this way because I'm normally used to doing the two bead method.
here's how my application is looking. I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the sticky layer from the poly gel with alcohol. So here are how my nails are looking shape and filed. We are ready to begin gel art. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage. For today's gel art, all we need is a white and red. If you have multiple shades of red, go ahead and use that. And we'll also be using Marcart's Solid Nail Tips Glue. And I'm just going to start by drawing a French tip on the nail. And I'm going to be using the white gel polish for that. Always. Every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on the enemy.
every moment there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on your enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. Now that we're done with that portion, we're going to move on to the next segment. We're going to do the 3D art and I'll be taking the solid tip glue and I'm going to make sure I apply a blob on the nail. I used a little bit too much and a little really goes a long way for this nail. And also make sure that you do not touch this with your bare hands and I'm going to be molding this onto the nail. Never forgetting where we came from. There isn't really any specific way that you have to do this. Just try to press it and spread it around. I feel like the messier it looks, the better. So I actually went ahead and cured the, the solid gel in the lamp for about 60 seconds. And now I'm going in with the red gel polish. I, I did use the darker red gel polish that I had from Madame Glam and I'm gonna paint this in. And I'm gonna paint that on all of the nails.
Once I finished that first layer, I'm going in with a darker red and I'm kind of painting that in to give it some more depth and so it kind of looks a little more realistic. After I'd finished the nail art, I'm going to go in with top coat and apply that on all of my nails. I will be curing this in the lamp for 60 seconds. So here are how my nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm actually pretty cool with how these turned out. These are super long. I think this is the longest nail set I've done. I do have everything that I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you all in my next video.